spotted a woman who looks like an angel but acts a little devilish, so we found him a date who's into heavy metal, dressing sexy, and getting intimate anytime, anywhere. Please welcome Sarah Wright. Tell us what kind of special preparations you uh, made for your date with Sarah. <laughs> well, actually, it's kind of funny. I cleaned my room, I cleaned my house because, I mean, she lives kind of far away, and I knew there might be an offside chance that she might be spending the evening. Clean. So, yeah. so you wanted to look good. Now, Lee, you just said he never cleans. Does that bother you a little bit? He was setting it up for the date just in case? Yeah, I guess so, because he never cleaned before, and so I guess he thought he was I bringing clean, it home. I clean, I clean. I just wanted to make sure that it was nice. It was I understand nice. that, Kevin. Now, what were you thinking after the first phone call with Sarah? Um... Actually, I was, I was a little disappointed in the fact that she lives so far away. She lives like an hour away, and she lives with her grandparents. And to tell you the truth, I, I, she, she seemed like a little conceited on the phone at first. A little attitude you could sense? <laughs> well, look at now, her. Kevin, what was it, though, that, that stood out that made you think she might be conceited? Well, we were talking about, because I couldn't go to pick her up, she had to come down to me, so we met at a bar, and, you know, I was talking about, well, you know, maybe we should be in a particular side of the bar so we recognize each other and stuff, and she's just like, well, when I walk in the door, you're going to notice me. So, she's <laughs> Flashing it then, honey. And Lee, what do, you, what do you think about the way she's dressed and the way, you know, her attire? I mean, I would never wear that. <laughs> you could not Because you couldn't. Oh, I couldn't. All right, yeah. All uh, right, now, Sarah did, <laughs> Sarah, did you have any inkling that Kevin might not be too excited about the date? Yeah, well, first of all, on the phone, he said that he expected the date to be mediocre, which didn't <laughs> put me in the greatest mood. And then he wouldn't come pick me up at my house because it was too far away. So, basically, I that like, only sense. decided to go all the way down there to meet him at a bar to show him that no date with me would ever be mediocre. Wow. Oh, now, Kevin, Sarah said that you would notice her right away when she walked into that bar. Did you? Was she right? Absolutely. <laughs> as soon as she walked in the door, I'm, this huge smile came on my face. I mean, she's yeah. got the perfect hourglass figure. Yeah. I mean, she's sexy. Yeah. Everything that I could possibly want in a woman. So there she was. And Sarah, yeah, what about you? Were you as, just as attracted to Kevin? Um, well, I really expected more of kind of a darker, oh. gothic kind of guy. Hey. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of this big, goofy guy barreling darker, towards honey. me through the bar. But the attraction grew very quickly as the night progressed. So the more time you spent together. <laughs> now, Kevin, you said earlier Lee's kind of critical about people and the things that they wear or whatever. What about Sarah? Was she like that? Actually, she's very open-minded. I can tell she's the kind of girl that can get along with anybody. I mean, she can be a little sarcastic, but so can I. And we were just started clicking almost immediately. Yeah. 